We Americans love to honor our leaders, but too often we forget the noble men and women like Grace Abbott, who have silently and unknown accomplished more for the betterment of humanity than has come from the clamor and publicity which surround the acts of the powerful and influential. Few in this world have done as much good as Miss Abbott has accomplished. Thousands, yes, millions of little children have grown up into noble manhood and womanhood because of her work. Upon the brow of this great woman, history will place a diadem of virtue and honest endeavor second to none. U.S. Senator George Norris of Nebraska, 1939. Grace Abbott was one of, perhaps the, great champion of children's rights in American history. As chief of the United States Children's Bureau, Miss Abbott was the highest ranking and most powerful woman in the U.S. government at the time that the Great Depression hit. Her influential work has been credited with leading the way to the creation of the Social Security Act and the United Nations UNICEF program. Miss Abbott was a woman of intriguing contradictions, a lifelong Republican Party member and a lifelong liberal activist. She was a native of the Nebraska Prairie Frontier who'd spent much of her adult life in the poorest immigrant quarters of urban Chicago, an unmarried woman who was nicknamed the mother of America's 43 million children. Grace Abbott was a public figure who was both much adored and bitterly, sometimes violently, attacked. She was a born and bred pioneer, the first woman nominated for a presidential cabinet post and the first person sent to represent the U.S. at a committee of the League of Nations. Her courageous struggles to protect the rights of immigrants, to increase the role of women in government, to save children from the abuses of child labor, are filled with adventurous tales of the remarkable human ability to seek out suffering and to do something about it. She was a bold and defiant woman who changed our country more profoundly than have many presidents. U.S. Representative Edward Keating summed up the feelings of innumerable Americans when he stood on the floor of the Congress in 1939 and said, quite simply, to me, there was something about Grace Abbott which always suggested Joan of Arc. Injustice and cruelty to children are as old as the world. We have made some progress. We see the ways more clearly now than in the past, and with clearer vision, we can do more, go further. Without apology, then, I ask you to use courageously your intelligence your strength and your good will in the removal of the barriers which have retarded children in the past. There will, I warn you, be discouragement and disappointments. New standards of what constitutes social justice will develop. But the cause of children must triumph eventually. The important thing is that we should be on our way. Perhaps you may ask, does the road lead uphill all the way? And I must answer, yes to the very end. But if I offer you a part in a long, hard struggle, I can also promise you great rewards. <laughs>